Hello everyone, this is Rune Weaver. Been a while since I did a video, and this one is going to be a how-to. For those of you who want to self-host your foundry on your own server, uh, be it desktop or Unraid, uh, which is what this video is going to cover, and I'm going to show you a software add-on um, called Play It GG that allows you to get around a double NAT or a CG NAT situation uh, that a lot of us run into with some of our internet service providers. I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to uh, get the link for invite for your players so that's of interest to you stick around we'll be right back oh, don't do that again <laughs> okay so you're gonna hold the goblin over your head and open the door back in the fuck up. what the <laughs> fuck <laughs> run <laughs> motherfucker run no. okay welcome back everyone so as you can see, we're in Foundry. Now, this is version 11. I haven't updated my server to version 12 yet. Uh, I want to wait until the bugs are out. But if you look up at the uh, browser bar, this is a local IP address. And this is my Unraid server. And my Foundry... I have already installed for Unraid, uh, and it is up and running. Uh, that's a total different video. Uh, I won't get into how to set it up in this one. This is under the assumption you have it set up and running correctly. Uh, point of note I would like to make on Foundry in Unraid, if you go to your community tab, your apps and you go to search for foundry vtt it's going to show two uh, i use the Silmans repository uh, i find it easier to work with and easier to manage uh, so that would be the one i am using also um, while you're on the community app section, go ahead and search for play it GG and install it. Once you install it, it will show in your Docker container in Unraid, just as you see. Um, uh, set up on this, I want to go into advanced view, it's pretty self-explanatory, it basically by default sets all the parameters that you need. Um, only thing you really need to pay attention to is your app data location, uh, which is where your... App data is going to be kept for play it. Uh, I've got mine in an app data folder, you know, play it G, uh, GG. Um, once you install it, it will set your play it as a bridge, play it GG as a bridge. Uh, but it won't assign a local loopback number until you actually start it. So that's what we're going to do now. Now, there's a couple ways you can do that. One, you can go to a new tab. You can sign in to play at GG, and it'll bring you basically like this. Uh, next thing we need to do is your play at GG. We need to go ahead and start it. It'll take a moment for it to fire up. 
and go ahead and look at the log file. If you look down at the bottom, there'll be a repeating link that says visit link setup, play it GG for your claim ID. When you install it to Unraid, it'll create a claim ID. Now these are clickable links. You can see they're hyperlinked. You can click it and it'll open up a play at GG page and ask you to claim your agent, which is on your server uh, at your IP address. Now I'm gonna blank these out during editing. You wanna click continue and you want to click add agent and then it'll go through a series of checks it'll do step three and then it'll ask you on step four to create a tunnel go ahead and click it and it will open up play at gg's website now you probably at this point won't have an account uh, go ahead and register uh, if you have it will automatically log you in so what we want to do here is use a shared IP we want it global uh, global free everybody likes free and we want the TCP protocol and then it'll come up and ask you if you're going to be processing malware and you just type uh, it's for educational purpose you will not host malware so you have to reselect your tunnel type a second time it'll give you a drop down for port count we want one tunnel and public and then enable tunnel and then at the very bottom click add tunnel Okay, then it'll give you tunnel is pending. It's basically linking both your tunnel and your uh, agent together. It takes a few moments and then it'll pop up. Now, there's a couple things I want you to pay attention to here. First off, it gives you a public address and it also gives you a local address this is the local loopback address and port number it's pumping your local address into the Chicago data center and giving you the public address which is this right here now you can change this address to whatever you want um, basically what you need to do is, is copy this. We're going to open up a new web page. We're going to paste it and hit enter. Now you notice it did not work. Okay, there's a trick to this. It's not that hard to take and sort through this. Your local address is 127.0.0.1. Okay, if you look on your Docker for Foundry within Unraid, you'll notice that your local address, loopback, in my case is 172.170.2, port 30,000. What I have to do is copy that, go back to play at GG, and if you scroll down a little bit, There'll be a box that says update local port address. So we want to go down and we want to paste it. And then we want to put port 30,000 in. And then update. You scroll back up to the top. Now if you look at your uh, uh, networking graph, you're going to see a little bit of data transfer now. So we're going to go back to our web page. And we're going to refresh it. 
and there's your foundry now here is the little trick i want you to pay attention to i have two foundry pages open this one is on the local port address by internal network i'm going to close it off this one is on the port address through your tunnel this is the address that you will give your players to join your game you will not give the players the address shown within foundry let me go ahead and get a world opened up we're going to open our test world up now keep in mind this is your local server uh it's going to be subject to performance as to whatever your pc is capable of or your server is capable of uh, so bear that in mind it's going to work just like the forge uh you start the world up and your players can log in as long as they have an, a, a player account signed to them now as i was mentioning the invitation links these will not work okay please remember that you have to give your players this invite just copy it send it to them in discord whatever you use uh, they can paste it into their web browser and you're good to go now it'll say not secured because my foundry on my docker does not have the ssl enabled um, if yours is enabled then you can the uh, HTTPS, if you choose, not instead of HTTP. It'll do HTTP by default. And that is how to set Play It GG up as a network tunnel in Unraid or Foundry for you to self host your game uh, and your players. Now, you don't have to use Unraid, obviously, to use Play It GG. If you have Foundry on your desktop, Play It GG will work just as well within Windows. Works the, pretty much the same way. So, I hope this helps out someone. Uh, it's kind of a how to video. Uh, again, it's for self-hosting um, your own server. If you have a Synology NAS or even a free NAS or true NAS, as long as you can get the Docker images for Foundry and play it GG, it should work. I have not tried it, but your mileage may vary. Uh, the one thing I must stress on Play It GG again, the local loopback address in my case is 172.17.0.2 port 30,000. It must match your local address in Play It GG. Uh, simple update. Uh, and that is it. Now, I generally, commonly, when I game, I have between four and six characters running, uh, counting a DM. Uh, so, you know, just depends on your server. I actually am running an older FX 8350 8 core. Uh, and I've got 8 gig of DDR3. Uh, it works fairly well on mine. Uh, I will say that I also 
have Plex Media Server running. So I usually down my Plex server um, when I'm gaming just to make sure I got enough power. Uh, but if you have a newer system or if you do this on your gaming laptop, your desktop, uh, you shouldn't have any problems. You shouldn't have any problems at all. So I hope this helped out someone. Uh, if you have any questions, give me a comment and a link. Uh, if you'd like a, a video on how to set Foundry up in Unraid, drop me a line. I'll see what I can do for you. And I'll see you in the next video.